Country Farm Road has claimed many lives over the years. It is a long narrow road, with many twists and turns. There are many farms near Country Farm Road. Cows and horses tend to escape a lot. It is best to proceed with caution and drive the speed limit. Although this is not the real name for the deadly highway, I have to protect the privacy of its victims. I am also a dispatcher and cannot risk losing my job. It was a slow day for calls. One of the few calls I can remember taking that day was an elderly woman who fell down in her bathroom. I quickly took her information and sent an ambulance out. It was about 30 minutes later when I received the most chilling phone call around 7pm. The ones you hate to get. The caller's name was Lisa and this is the following transcript. 911, what is your emergency? Oh my god, I can't move. My boyfriend, he's beside me, but I can't see him. It's dark. Please help us. What is your name and your location? My name is Lisa Lewis. We are on Country Farm Road on Highway 42, I think. I'm trying to wake up Johnny, but I cannot reach him. I'm stuck in my seatbelt. Help is on the way, Lisa. Is Johnny alert? Can he speak? There was a five second pause. Um, no. I keep calling his name, but he's not awake yet. I need to get out of the seatbelt and shake him awake. Lisa, stay calm and please do not move. Help will be there soon. Are you injured? Uh, yes. My leg is hurting. I think it's pinned by the steering wheel. My head is hurting and I just pulled a small piece of glass out. Lisa, don't pull anything out, okay? Let the paramedics get there first to access you. I don't want you to cause any further bleeding, okay? Uh-huh. There was a 10 second pause. Lisa, can you hear me? Are you still awake? I feel dizzy and I'm trying to get out of the seatbelt. I think I got my leg free. It burns really bad. I need to check on Johnny. Lisa. I know you're worried about Johnny, but I don't want you to move your leg around. It may be broken. Johnny may be knocked unconscious. Please do not get out of your seatbelt. I don't want you to injure yourself any further. There was a loud clicking noise. I got the seatbelt undone. I heard sirens in the distance. Lisa, they are almost there. Hang tight. There was heavy breathing. Lisa, can you hear me? There was a very loud scream with sirens in the background. Oh my god, his head! It just rolled off! It's in my lap! The phone hung up. I felt a sick feeling in my stomach. My job was done and now the paramedics would take over. About a week later, I was talking to the local sheriff of the town. Apparently when the car veered off, the impact was so hard it sent a huge plate of glass from the windshield right through poor Johnny's neck. This decapitated him instantly. The paramedics arrived on the scene to a very gruesome sad sight. A 1968 vintage blue Toyota Corolla was tangled up in a mess of trees. The front of the car was mangled. A dead cow was stoon out on the highway in pieces. Shards of glass were all over from the windshield. The firefighters had to use a few tools to open the dented door on Lisa's side. Unfortunately, when they removed the door, they saw that Lisa was passed out cold and her boyfriend's head was resting on her lap. His headless, bloody body was slumped down beside her. It was a scene straight out of a horror movie. We figured Lisa must have reached over to shake Johnny awake. She probably shook him pretty hard. 
The impact was so hard that a huge pate of glass had gone straight through his neck. It was just balanced enough to keep his head resting upon his body. I couldn't imagine the horror of seeing your boyfriend's head fall into your lap. No wonder why she passed out. I know Lisa survived that accident with a few broken bones and abrasions. Of course, Johnny did not. It was so instant that he probably did not feel a thing. Sadly, Lisa would have to live with the guilt because she was the one who was driving. The car had first belonged to Johnny's dad. He had passed it down to Johnny as his early 16th birthday present. His first car. It takes a lot of inner strength when taking such calls. I'm not going to say it is always easy. You never know what to expect. You are someone's lifeline. About a week later, I was driving down Country Farm Road with my window rolled down. I was taking in the crisp fall breeze. The trees looked beautiful with their changing red and yellow leaves. As I passed the accident site, I saw the back of a woman with long golden brown hair. She was putting blue roses around a white cross that read, In memory of Johnny. I often wonder if it was Lisa. Shout out to my superfans, Sweet Black Swan, Casey, and Brooklyn. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel, and I really look forward to making more content for everyone.